All righty, we are back. It is a great pleasure now to welcome to Murphy in the Morning, Irv Lander, as I said, executive director of the Ashley Whippet Invitational. He is also vice president of the Los Angeles SPCA Board of Trustees. Good morning. Good morning, Bill. It's, it's great to have you here. I am so excited about uh, what, what the folks are going to see in a little while because, as you know, we did a little bit of uh, rehearsing outdoors right. to be sure that uh, everybody's ready. Talk a little bit about uh, this Saturday's competition. How many dogs, where do they come from, that type of thing? They're going to come from all over the southeast. I anticipate maybe 35 or 40 dogs that come from Florida, Georgia, Tennessee, North Carolina, and uh, they will be uh, some will be novices and some will be veteran performers, but out of it will come a winner and runner-up, both who will get an all-expense-paid trip to the World Finals uh, September 5th and 6th in Washington, D.C. And those uh, will, uh, I would like to mention, the master ceremonies will be my good friend John Wade, if you happen right. to be up. He paid me $40 to yeah, say that. Then which there's no better. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Listen. How long, I mean, I mean I'm mean, i sure ever since there have been Frisbees and, and guys on, and gals on the beach, somebody discovered, hey, this dog is real good at this. But how long has, has uh, the competition with uh, the Frisbee and the dogs been, been kind of a formal thing? Uh, probably from about uh, 74 when Ashley broke on the scene. Uh, prior to that, I had been executive director of the International Frisbee Association, and I had had clippings and people write me about their dog. Yeah. But we never really thought too much about it. We said it was a phenomenon. But when Ashley and his owner uh, jumped on the field uninvited at yeah. a Dodger Reds game in 1974, uh, performed for eight minutes before a nationally televised audience, then uh, the whole thing just kind of broke loose and we began to hear from people all over the country saying their dog was good. And uh, so we decided uh, this would have the seeds of a national competition, which is something that I've done in other areas for a long time. Yeah. And uh, happily, uh, uh, very shortly thereafter, Gaines Cycle Dog Food, which sponsored this, mm -hmm. and I think they do it because they share Americans' love of dogs, they decided they wanted a vehicle to promote canine fitness. Yeah. We, in turn, were looking for a vehicle to promote the sport. Yeah. So it was a happy marriage, and it's been together ever since. Ashley Whippet uh, uh, passed away at the age of 14. We've got some videotape of this of this remarkable dog, and if we can, if we can roll that, Dale, maybe we'll just uh, see a little bit about what this guy used to do. If you note, he's like uh, Barishnikov. Uh, he'll come like a ballet dancer. He won't come down hard. And he, his hang time in the air, he actually would defy gravity, almost like Dr. J or Michael Burton. In a little while, we're going to meet Ash's son, by the way. Now, how did you and Ashley and Ashley's owner get together? It was rather uh, unique circumstances, I would say, Irv. Well, uh, Bill, I had heard from Alex, uh, uh, as with a lot of people, you know, they say, I've got the greatest this and that in the world, and I, I did see his dog very briefly, and I thought it was remarkable, and I was searching for a way to do something about it, and I decided to go to the ball game one this one evening. This was in Los Angeles. In Los Angeles. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, this was the night that Alex sneaked onto the field. <laughs> At first, you know, I was kind of aghast. I thought, the guy's going to get thrown in the clink immediately, <laughs> Which he did. rough him up. He did, and uh, he got arrested, obviously, uh, for trespassing. I bailed him out, which I probably wouldn't do again. <laughs> Just kidding, Alex. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, having seen that and recognizing the impact that it had both on the fans in the stadium, a sellout crowd, and all of the people at home, because we began to hear from people all over the place, I realized that this could be, and it was, the catalyst for a, this emerging sport. Yeah. And from that point on, uh, <clears throat> you know, Alex was uh, uh, besieged by offers to go on the Carson Show, Mike Douglas, Merv Griffin. The Rams made him their halftime mascot. Yeah. And it's, it, it seemed to burgeon, you know, it just... Uh, well, I think, I think what it is, is it's, it's once someone goes and gets to see th this remarkable demonstration, I don't think people really believe what they're seeing. Uh, what 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 these uh, dogs and and uh, and their uh, uh, human friends can do together is truly remarkable. It is the, the bond that develops between dog and the owner, and the uh, you know the synchronization of what they do together. Yeah. Uh, when you tell uh, you tell someone that Ashley would jump nine feet in the air and run forty miles an hour, it's uh, probably hard to, kind of hard to fathom. You know, yes. I say, well, this guy is exaggerating. But when you see it and this explosiveness as they leave the ground, and maybe they think they're pursuing a bird, I don't know, but, yeah. but uh, it's the most exhilarating thing that the dog will ever do, and probably for the people. Too. I want to mention that the folks at Gaines have put together 
uh, a really neat little booklet. It also has some coupons in it uh, called Teaching Your Dog to Catch a Flying Disc. And if you happen to have a, a doggie and uh, he or she's watching now and saying, I want to do that, Ma. Well, here's all you need to do. Write to the Ashley Whippet International Booklet. And that's at P.O. Box 877, Young America, Minnesota. I've not heard of Young America. What did I say wrong, John? Invitational. Oh, sorry. A that's why John is here, by the way. Right. Ashley Whippet Invitational Booklet, P.O. Box 877, Young America, Minnesota, 55399. Please include a self-addressed stamp envelope. That's a long address. We'll hold it up for another 20 seconds or so, and while we do that, we'll go to the phones. Good morning. You're on the air with Irv Lander. Yellow. Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, I have a question for Irv. Okay, he's right here. Um, I was wondering if there's any particular breed of dogs that would be uh, probably the best for, you know, frisbee catching or whatever. Good question. It, it is a good question. Obviously, the retriever kinds of breeds, the labs, the uh, German shepherds, the border collies, Aussies. But I wouldn't stop there. If you get a dog that has a pretty good athletic uh, build and is healthy, uh, we've had everything from a giant St. Bernard to, believe it or not, a tiny Yorkie. Wow. And all kinds of rare breeds. I believe the Yorkie more than the St. Bernard. It's well, St. Bernard, like we, we kind of scoffed when we saw it, but it got three, four feet off the ground and enjoyed it immensely. So I think any kind of breed, except maybe the flat-nosed uh, uh, English Bulldogs where they don't have any jaw. Yeah. And also, I would perhaps say a Basset Hound would be uh, inclined to rather look at it, <laughs> it than, than go after it. Listen, I don't, want, I don't want to lose track of time because uh, sure. they are waiting for us outside. Uh, I hate to be uh, very, very forward, but uh, oh, you might have something for me, I, Irv. I do. This, we, you are the first and only person to be made an honorary member, actually more than honorary, you're a member of the Gaines Cycle Celebrity Team. Isn't that neat? Uh, with all those privileges that come with it, uh, Rolls Royce, uh, <laughs> oh, all of that 10 years supply of dog food, but Boy, you got to get a you. dog, right? Yeah. <laughs> Irv, I'll tell you what, this has been great. I hope you folks have a wonderful turnout. Well, let's, let's say you and I head out for the backyard great. and uh, when we continue. I never fail to enjoy it myself. Okay, we will show you some amazing things when Murphy in the Morning continues.